वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड एस यू गैव रेड बाई द टाइटल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू वॉट आर द फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स दैट वी शुड फॉलो बिफोर अप्लाइंग आवर लिपस्टिक्स यस आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ अस हैव सफर फ्रॉम ड्राई एंड चैप्ड लिप्स वन स्टेज और अनदर लिप्स ड्राई सो फास्ट बिकॉज देर नो स्वेट ग्लैंड अराउंड द एरिया सो यस हाउ टू गिव दम वॉल्यूम एंड मेकिंग योर लिपस्टिक लास्ट लॉन्गर So as you guys can see I have no lipstick on so far and I'm going to apply in front of you guys so without any further delay let's get started So all right moving on to the first step I'm going to apply a generous amount of lip balm on my lips So my mirror is never with me So okay I have applied my lip balm on my lips and now I'm taking a clean toothbrush it would be great if it is unused one and and I will gently brush my lips into circular motion Brushing your lips increases the blood flow and removes the flakiness. We should at least do it for about one or two minutes. It's very important to exfoliate your lips to get rid of dead skin because dead skin may cause quick dryness and chapped lips. So slowly slowly brushing your lips into circular motion is going to take away all the dead skin from your lips and now your lips are hydrated enough so now take off the excess moisture i am going to use a tissue paper so i'm sure it has got out now and now i can move on to my next application so all right next i'm going to powder my lips little bit so that it gets dry well and now i will apply my concealer i'm going to use maybelline fit me concealer so why i'm using concealer because when we apply lipstick sometimes it doesn't look right well it could be because the natural lips underneath your lipstick is affecting the color on the top so just to hide the natural color we should apply concealer first so let's move on to the application then we don't have to take so much product also it should be a very light layer on your lips and i am going to use color bar lipstick in the shade 012 push up yes and i will apply lipstick at the center of the upper lips and moving outward towards one corner
now I'm moving on to lip liner application and I'm taking this matte lip liner in the shade more to love yes more to love so yes and your lip liner should always one shade darker than your lipstick so you can see it is one shade darker and I am going to draw a line all over my lips according to the shape of my lips and we should always start lining our lips from the center of our lips So okay, when you apply lip liner to your lips, your lipstick has something to stick with. And one shade darker lip liner creates a 3D effect to your lips. And it looks more shaped and plumper. Okay, last but not the least, I am moving on to my final application which is going to be a lip gloss application. So for that, I am going to use Sephora lip gloss in the shade Pretty Pine. This is what I'm going to use. This is a Sephora lip gloss, and yes, and I'm using lip gloss because I want my lips to look plumper and I want them to be hydrated even after makeup. So because there is nothing annoying than the feeling of having chapped lips and with the lip gloss you will never get a chapped lips and yes I'm done with my lip gloss and all right that brings to the end of my video and I hope you like my video and if you have liked it please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and i will see you guys in my next vlog till then bye bye take care tata love you all